James Mondes, James the wine guy, guess what we have ahead? It's a Sauvignon Blanc from an unexpected place, which is Mendoza in Argentina. Stay tuned for this review. So what we have here is, uh, so this is uh, by Felipe Rutini. And uh, so a lot of people, you know, uh, used to say Felipe Rutini, now it just says Rutini. Sauvignon Blanc, 2014 vintage from Mendoza, Argentina. Now you don't see a lot of um, uh, Sauvignon Blanc coming from Mendoza. It's really a red wine territory. And when you think of uh, particular wine regions, it's somewhat of a discipline to keep your white wine planted, especially if you're red wine grapes end up bringing you more money because you may want to say I'm going to only do the say the Bordeaux varieties I'm going to do Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot and uh, so I think it, I really applaud producers who are doing this and especially Sauvignon Blanc well, if you're doing all the other Bordeaux varieties why not Sauvignon Blanc and I'd like to see more of that I think it's being done in a very unique style in Argentina that I think is absolutely beautiful don't taste a lot of it but this is one that would be pretty accessible from your wine merchant if not ask them to bring it in or your favorite restaurant to do so. So the back panel for your review here. Aging is uh, three months and 50% new French oak, 50% second and third use French oak. Winemaker is Mariano de Paola, 12.5% uh, ABV. So you're gonna taste wines in the 14 half range, which in my opinion for Sauvignon Blanc is a bit much. It's a little too spirited for me because I believe you're just tasting a lot of alcohol and a little fruit as opposed to this wine, you're tasting a lot of fruit and a bit of alcohol. You do need alcohol, right? Let's not uh, you know, lose track of that either. It really can give that backbone and structure and uh, you know, elegance as well, believe it or not. So I'm gonna start off with first is the uh, point score and then the uh, flavor characteristics, or scent characteristics, then the flavor characteristics. So this wine is a 9.1 out of my 10 points scale, I'll think of that as 91 points out of 100 points. And uh, so I think it's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous texture to this wine. It's not over the top, it's not a New Zealand-esque uh, Sauvignon Blanc, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but uh, you know, I like to you know, point that in a directional path that because it's a Southern Hemisphere wine, they don't taste like other Southern Hemisphere wines, which should be obvious, but it's good to state that as well. So here we go first with the scent characterization. It's giving notation of organic lemon peel, white flowers, passion fruit, and uh, white tea as well. And next, the flavor characterization. Notes on this wine include organic lemon and orange peel, green apple, tea and passion fruit. Again, 9.1 out of my 10.0 scale. Beautiful wine, so stay tuned. I have more uh, wines from Felipe Rutini to be tasting and to give those reviews. So I'll actually post up right here in the YouTube cards Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. It's been an amazing 2015, and it wouldn't be half a cool or amazing 2015 if you weren't watching and supporting and giving your questions and comments. And uh, so that really does mean a lot to me. Thank you again for watching. So any questions or comments, listen down below. Uh, also, the like button's there, so please hit that. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, you know, share this video on your favorite social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.